What's up guys? Me like here and today we're back in action for some IO news and uh, today's not gonna be super important as far as news is concerned. I think the biggest thing that happened uh, in this latest update which was the patch from yesterday is the trike. Now the trike got some new animations and by that I think the only real new one is the trot. It actually kind of looks like prancing a little bit now and apparently uh, this is more realistic or whatever. I think it looks really good actually. Now, I checked out all the other animations, and I think the biggest thing that they're kind of trying to do right now is basically kind of like animation flowing, you know, like making sure each of the animations flow into the other animations really nice. So I have some footage of like all the trike animations right here. Now, yeah, trotting is different now, which is good. They've also seemed to fix the Anki's 3 roar, which as you guys know from before, it's not in survival, so, but I think it's something that they've just kind of wanted to fix. And Anki might be coming to survival sometime soon. I'm not exactly sure. No confirmation on that. So whenever you like ran around and pressed three, it would still do the stomping sound. And I think it still had the particles, but the tail itself wouldn't slam. What they've done now is the only time it does the stomping tail is when you're stopped. And whenever you're running, it just makes the roar. It doesn't do the stomping tail or the, uh, the sound from the stomping tail anymore, which is a pretty good change. As for other animations and stuff, I think they're just trying to smooth everything. I'm not sure if anything else has been changed besides that. I do know that they've done a bunch of bug fixes recently, one of them being the Giga Corpse being blurry for some reason. I don't know why it's blurry. It seems like such a strange bug, but yeah, just tons of bug fixes and uh, they're not slowing down or stopping anytime soon, so that's pretty good. Well, guys, you know that mega patch I mentioned last episode, which was the day before yesterday, and I said it was coming really soon? Well, mega patch is out today, or at least it should be soon if it's not out already. And uh, they posted a thing on Steam with all the, I guess, cliffhanger notes and all that kind of stuff. I'm not going to read them all, as I've covered most of them in my videos already. I'm not going to make a mega update video. I mean, I might, but yeah, the, these cliff notes show all the basic changes. It doesn't show a lot of, like, I guess, the super, super crazy stuff or small things or whatever. But yeah, it shows most of the changes. I'm going to have, like, a little scrolling list right here that you can check out for yourself. Now, I'm going to go ahead and read what they said. <laughs> Greeting Islanders, you know that format we've been doing where we put little notes from us in every change? Well, it's been two months. Unfortunately, the time it would take with that format with these patch notes would probably take us as much time as George R. R. Martin finishing Winds of Winter, so we're going to pass on this format this one time. In this announcement, you're going to get more Cliff Note-esque blurbs than exact, because again, I'm not writing a novel-length patch note. I'm sure this will result in a negative review somewhere. <laughs> Then at the end it says the change list above is not fully complete. It's just the only real service stuff anyone can see was completed. We hope you enjoy the patch and, and feel the two month wait was worth it. See you on the island. Yeah, so they changed a lot of stuff. They changed quite a lot of stuff. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy it and uh, it should be out today. Now, Dondi was talking about procedural foliage. A lot of people have been complaining that Region 3 doesn't really have any plants. And because it's been placed kind of like strategically across the map, right? Well, procedural foliage is going to probably be more difficult because whenever uh, the plants spawn in, they're going to be random every time, right? So you're never going to know where to go for food. At least now you can actually go to the same spot every time if you happen to memorize a couple locations. But yeah, procedural foliage is going to make that all kind of randomized and you'll never know where to go next. But the thing is, is procedural foliage might make it more uh, dense or spread out throughout the map. I'm not exactly sure how they're going to do it. If, it. if they make it where it's still kind of rare, then that's going to suck. But if it's a little bit more dense and spread out evenly throughout the map, it might be better than uh, the old system the way it is right now. I know they've done some uh, V3 changes and all that kind of stuff. I don't know the exact details on that. But yeah, that's basically it for today's news. The only other thing I want to talk about is last time. I, I guess I didn't clarify stuff I said last time. All the old concepts I checked out are probably not going to be in the game. Well, some of them will be. Like, for example, the cannibals, uh, a lot of the cannibals abilities have been transferred over to the tribals now. For example, like taming and mounting and all that kind of stuff. All that stuff isn't cannibal anymore. That's all tribal. I just wanted to clarify that. I guess I... In my previous video, I kind of thought it was obvious, I guess, and I just didn't mention it. Now, the last thing I want to talk about is Cannibal Evolution. Now, you probably saw this on Anthomnia's video, and then me and Anthomnia talked about this briefly. But basically, there's a very, very, very old art by uh, Rodrigo Vega that shows Cannibal Evolution, kind of. Now, it shows the different stages. There's level 1, level 2, level 3. Now, I don't know if Cannibal Evolution is actually going to be in the game, but it kind of makes sense. 
if you watch the theories uh, channel in Discord, a lot of people have been saying that whatever happened to Echidna might be kind of like the same sort of, I guess, thing that's happening to the cannibals. But the cannibals obviously aren't going to evolve as much as Echidna. They're just kind of like a, I guess a, I don't know how to really describe it, but like a strain that's sort of the same, but it's kind of like an off strain, kind of, you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, they're, they're, they're humans. They're kind of like mutants or whatever. I don't know. It's a little complicated, but basically I'm guessing people start as humans and then they kind of get this virus or disease somehow, maybe from a kid in herself. I don't know. And, uh, they start going through these evolutionary changes and you can see like eventually they looked all screwed up and then eventually I guess they're cannibals. So I don't know how much of this is actually going to be in the game, but it's, it's a pretty cool concept and I guess a way to kind of explain why cannibals exist. And part of this idea is based through this art and what people have been saying in Isle Theories. So take this with a grain of salt. This is really old art from, actually it's not that old. It's, it's from uh, November 2016, so it's not that old. Well, anyways, it's from 2016, so anyways, that's basically all I'm going to talk about it. I think it's a pretty cool idea. Cannibal evolution seems cool. It makes sense. Maybe we'll get some other stuff like this in the future that'll explain how certain things exist in the world. Okay, so we're going to talk briefly about this ranger thing again. Now, I said last time, which I, th that was just me looking at the concept art, but we don't know how like this is going to kind of work. Now, let's just say humans, or let's say these rangers are mercenaries, which they might be, they might not be, right? Or they could be tribals, but the only problem with tribals is tribals don't use guns and stuff, I don't think. So, yeah, let's just say they're mercenaries for right now. Basically what this is, is it's kind of like classing and leveling up. It would be kind of like progression, you know what I mean? Or survival, where you go to the next tier. Now this is a forestman level 1, this is a scout level 2, and a sentinel level 3. So this is kind of sort of leveling up. Now, for humans from what I know, I don't think they're going to be able to do this. Unless, unless this is still an idea, I don't really know, to be honest. I think the way the humans are going to work is they're going to be a more like natural evolution whereas they don't really i don't think they, they're going to progress right here like mercenaries and stuff i think maybe if you get bit by or like uh, get the cannibal virus or something you might do the cannibal thing but for this right here i think you'll just kind of progress naturally like you would in a normal survival game where if you find a bow you find a bow if you find a gun you find a gun you're going to be working on your base and all that kind of stuff but all this like leveling up and different like evolutions for this is pretty neat actually because you can see like there's poachers here there's rangers there's scavengers so there's like different types of human factions right and of course this doesn't include uh the cannibals or the tribals or anything like that so some of these abilities and stuff might be moving over to the tribals the cannibals and then also the mercenaries which i don't think the cannibals are going to be getting any of this but yeah, the tribals and the mercenaries. So I, I, I don't, I'm not exactly sure how this is going to work in the future, but you know, this is, was like some of the original design slash ideas. And then we could also check out some of these, I guess, biomes here. I mean, you got highlands and all that kind of stuff, which I, I showed this last time, but you know, we don't know how much of this is actually going to be in the game, but these are like some concept art uh, biomes that I guess were planned or wanted to be put in the game. You got like a dam, not a dam, uh, like a waterfall area whatever it's just temperate forests and all kinds of stuff man it's crazy and right here it kind of goes specifically to this medium level facility now we've seen facilities in the map before but of course none of them ever been done some of them have been removed over time i'm assuming we're probably going to see more facilities with ae001 and that's really kind of where it's going to start but i know humans are planned to be able to upgrade bases and do all kinds of crazy stuff but yeah this is one of the human i guess settlements or facilities or whatever there's some more little art on the side and then there's like the three triangle thing with it says wilderness highland and then spring and then settlement so yeah there's just all kinds of stuff now i think we've pretty much exhausted every bit of concept art that exists at this point so this is pretty much everything by Rodrigo Vega. The only thing that I didn't show last time was the mutant evolution, I think. And then this, I showed the biomes and like the facility and stuff, but I, I didn't show the piece of art that actually kind of explains what the different biomes are. But yeah, unless there's something else on the, the old Facebook or something that I haven't checked out, this is pretty much it, guys. So hopefully you enjoyed. Tell me what you think about Cannibal Evolution, uh, any of these facilities, what you think about humans are going to be, and just pretty much anything at all. I love your faces, and I'll see you guys in the next one.